Mike Quincy, Channeling His Higher Self, January 26, 2024. The following extract is from Blossom Goodchild's message of the 20th of January. It confirms that both of our massages are very much on the same wavelength, having been given by highly evolved souls from the higher dimensions. The situation that occurred at the beginning of your 2020 was planned by those who have the desire to depopulate. It had to be played out, in order for it to do all that it did. The consequences were dia, from many perspectives. However, and we do not say this insensitively, if this had not played out, it would not be possible for phase 2 and the next, incarceration, to take place. And it needs to take place. It may seem that it has been organized, once again, by those who do not have your best interest at heart. Yet, perhaps this is not the case? Or, maybe it is? Yet, behind the scenes there is a much more sinister undertaking that those who think they are in control have masterminded. We must be careful with our words here from a safety point of view. Yet, behind the scenes of behind the scenes, there is the divine plan. So, perhaps the story continues in the flow of knowing that although phase the second of May look like it is under control by those who seek the demise of the human race, it is serving a much higher purpose that will become apparent once the plan is underway. The cleansing that is to come will change everything. It is the first time, ever, that your planet has, had, the opportunity to be lifted into glory, once again. This can only happen because of each one of you coming here to do just that, to change the entire vibration of the population. The 26th of January 2024. Mike Quincy. There can be no doubt that we are all heading for major changes to the planet and its population as never experienced before. It is all part of the greater plan for humanity that will absolutely change our entire lives. It is to be greeted with great approval and appreciation of the powers of the higher beings that oversee our future growth. Indeed they have always been with us watching from afar to see how we use our freedom of choice. Our destiny is safely assured and the future will restore our true freedom once again. Knowing this it should enable you to sail through just anything that takes place that is not of the light. As often happens because of the cleansing that is taking place, matters are going to get worse before they pass and get better. You are spiritual beings who have all different types of roles to play allowing events to work out as planned. Knowing that the end result will be the most remarkable changes that at present are beyond your imagination. The timing of events is difficult to pinpoint as they are subject to actions that are yet to be taken. However, be assured that regardless of the sequence of events everything will lead to your release from the clutches of the dark ones. When things do not work out well it is easy to become disenchanted with the outcome but understand as we have often informed you that nothing of importance happens by chance. Many souls who play important roles in your lives are supported by legions of light workers who can ensure an acceptable outcome. When other souls see you and hear your message it is very encouraging, and gives them strength to carry on when difficulties may be all around them. You were chosen to be on earth at this time because of your experience and dedication to the light. As you lift your vibrations so you help to lift them for souls around you. They may not realize it but it will help them through their tasks making life a lot easier. Naturally karma will also play a part so accept your challenges with good grace. Remember that you are not tackling your tasks alone and your guides will so to say. Whisper in your ear when you need advice or upliftment and do in fact influence you to make the right decisions that are to your advantage. These are times when you can be a bit more outspoken but in a kind way of course, helping those who are confused with what is taking place. Events are causing a lot of instability and hardship and charities and similar are being overwhelmed by the numbers of people involved. By normal nature many souls have stepped forward to help others at a time when so many need help. Somehow you always seem to manage but the pressures of the present period can be very overwhelming. You are blessed and given great thanks for your voluntary work.
As always in times of strife children seem to be severely affected and our thanks go to those tireless workers who spend so much time to give them some comfort. Be aware that much karma is being worked off in such times so please understand that little really happens by chance. The loss of life saddens everyone except those who deliberately kill or maim others, yet such happenings are the fulfillment of their life plans. Regretfully it seems that humans need to experience the actions that they themselves have caused others to experience, it is the only way they learn. However, there is so much good work going on by such dedicated souls who elected to come to earth for that purpose. You have to marvel at the perfect planning that has taken place to ensure all goes to plan without infringing your free will and that is remarkable. Of course there are difficulties at times but events can always be replayed if necessary. Your good works are rewarded especially when you return to the higher realms as there is as you might say, good karma. Sometimes your work of this nature is by way of thanking those who have helped you in the past. Good deeds do not pass unnoticed as with all other works you have been involved with. You often do work within groups that specialize in helping the needy and certainly your presence is very much needed at this time. Without their help society could not cope in situations such as you are experiencing now, you just do not have enough people with the necessary skills. So you cope the best you can knowing that even your best results are far below what is required to meet the demand. Dear ones we are in admiration of your attempts to cater for the level of demand, but even with the best will in the world there is no way you can do so. It calls for people to take care into their own hands where possible until professional help can be obtained. I leave you with love and blessings, and may the light brighten your days and path to completion. This message comes through my higher self my God self, and every soul has the same connection to God. In love and light. Mike Quincy.